and the granddaddy of sports entertainment, WrestleMania. One, two, three. He did it! By God, he did it! On the grandest stage of them all, this moment will live forever! This is what you want, isn't it? 80,000 screaming WWE fans chanting your name at WrestleMania. I can see it in your eyes. You think you've got that ruthless aggression. So now you're going to have to prove it to me. And I'm giving you the opportunity of a lifetime because this is where stars become superstars. And superstars become legends. And that's what I expect from you, to become a legend of this business. That's your responsibility, not mine. All I can do is give you the chance. It's up to you to make the impact. I want you to make it back here to the showcase of the Immortals. To WrestleMania. You're gonna have to beat the best. The best from Raw and the best from SmackDown. And this year, I'm bringing back the Tribe of Extreme. The new breed will be on the leash. Because I'm bringing back E C W. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I've got some advice for you, champ. You've got a championship, and I expect you to defend it vigorously. And if the competition is too stiff for you, we've got an entire locker room of superstars who would be happy to take over. Hey, champ, this is the coach, Mr. McMahon's executive assistant in charge of Raw. Now listen, backlash is only a month away, and I'm counting on you to carry the pay-per-view. If you can't do that, I'll find another superstar who can handle the pressure. Oh my gosh! There's Melina! She's all tied up! But who would have done this? Hang on, I'll untie you. What's going on? My God! A two-on-one assault against the champion! give you a present for the other night. I don't believe it. It was all a damn setup. It sure seems that way, JR. You know, if I was a champion, I wouldn't wait for the general manager to find me an opponent. I would challenge the toughest superstars on the roster to earn the, como se dice, respect. So who would you pick, champ? Oh, please, please, please pick up. He's after me. He says he's going to use me to send a message to you. I, I don't even know what that means. I can't get out of... Now you see how I roll. You don't get up in my business, you understand? 
You're gonna get your shot at me soon enough, champ. Cause I'm gonna be the number one contender, and then we're gonna see who the top dog is around here. Welcome to Raw. With almost a month ago until Backlash, things are really heating up around here. This is Tim Ross, here with Jerry the King Law, and I couldn't be more excited about tonight. Me neither. The champ has chosen his challenger, and the title might not be on the line, but the champ's neck sure is. If the champ wants to start whittling down number one contenders, this is exactly what he has to do. You're right about that, JR. Let's see if he can do it. He's the champion's chosen opponent. But I have to wonder if the champ isn't going to regret his decision. I'm sure he will, but what choice did he have? Talk about being put in a lose-lose situation. His championship is not on the line tonight, but that doesn't make this match any less dangerous. And that doesn't mean that his championship isn't in danger. If he gets injured here tonight, he might have to forfeit the title. He's not going to get caught with that one. Randy Orton is a genius, JR. As soon as he got what he needed from Triple H and Ric Flair, he turned on him and struck out on his own. I think you've got a selective memory there, Kingfish. I seem to remember Triple H and Ric Flair turning on Orton and knocking some of the cockiness out of him when they did it. Well, if that's true, it's just a matter of jealousy. And I think that's pretty sad, coming from two men who have more than 25 world title reigns between them. The game and player are no strangers to the championship. Oh, no! This is terrible! You can't let your opponent build this kind of momentum! Well, all I can say is someone's been eating their vitamins and saying their prayers. Uh. This match is going to continue until someone's completely debilitated. And considering the resiliency of these superstars, that's not going to be easy. That's for sure. No one in this match is going down without a fight. And I wouldn't expect any less from them, King. Black them or not, you've got to respect the tenacity of each and every WWE superstar. Any superstar shows the slightest hint of weakness, they've lost the match. That's for sure. No matter how beat up you are. Oh, look at the fans, JR. They know what's oh, coming next. They sure do. And there it is. The end of you. He's a three count away from a pinfall. No. He almost got the three count, but almost doesn't count. Man, is there even going to be anything left of these superstars by the time they're done? Not if they have their way, King. Oh, boy. The adrenaline is pumping. I think this could be the beginning of the end. No, it can't end like this. Come on, do something quick. He's got his opponent in position. I <laughs> think he's going for it. No, it can't be. Not the end. The crowd is chanting, Jay. I guess it's their right. You're damn right it is. It he's going for You 
talk about the future of WWE. comes with being the champ, JR. And there's always plenty of superstars ready to take your place. What up, champ? You gonna give me a match this week? Or am I gonna have to come looking for you? You don't want me to start knocking on doors, do you? So did you give that idiot a match, but not Umaga? Do you think that will save you from being crushed from my Samoan bulldozer? You're a bigger fool than he is, champ. We're only a few weeks away from Backlash. Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler at ringside, and tonight, the champ is looking to eliminate a rival. He's got to do something. He's got two of Raw's biggest superstars after his championship. That comes with being the champion. Everyone wants a shot at you. And they'll take any part of you that they can get. I wish him luck, because he's going to need it. The champion will have his hands full with this monster, but the rumor has it that he might not be the only superstar the champ will have to deal with here tonight. For the champ's sake, I hope they're just rumors. We're only a couple of weeks away from Backlash, and the last thing the champ needs to deal with is a two-on-one situation. The champ has proven himself to be the best Raw has to offer. But tonight, he's up against as tough an opponent as he's ever faced. And he could be walking straight into a trap, if you know who shows up. Oh, man, the rumors were true. It looks like we've got a triple threat match on our hands tonight. The champ could lose this match without even being involved in the decision. He's got his work cut out for him, that's for sure. His opponent telegraphed that one. Randy Orton is a genius, JR. As soon as he got what he needed from Triple H and Ric Flair, he turned on him 
and struck out on his own. I think you've got a selective memory there, Kingfish. I seem to remember Triple H and Ric Flair turning on Orton and knocking some of the cockiness out of him when they did it. Well, if that's true, it's just a matter of... Look at him feeding off the energy from this capacity crowd. He's unstoppable. You can't ever count on these fans, JR. They're fickle, and they'll abandon you in a heartbeat. He's a slippery devil. You talk about ruthless aggression. Look at the way these superstars have been going after each other. They're not playing with kid gloves, that's for sure. We knew we were going to see a heck of a match, but this might turn out to be... No. Oh, go ahead and say it, JR. All right, I will. I think this one's got all the makings of a bona fide slobber knocker. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are out of a job. This has gone beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. If looks could kill, so he's got his opponent in position. I think he's going for it. No, it can't be! Not the answer! He could pin him right here, JR! Oh no! I don't like the looks of this! He's got the fans behind him, King, and his opponent had better watch out! He countered that and made oh. it look easy. Oh boy, the mm. adrenaline is pumping. I think this could be the beginning of the end. No, it can't end like this. Come on, do something quick. What does he think he's doing? He's just showing off for the crowd now. He's wrestling the match his way. And I think it's going to pay off, mark my words. Oh, sure. Now the fans start to cheer for him. Now that he's in the driver's <clears throat> seat. Come on, King. He's had the crowd behind him all match, and now it's paying off. Look at the fans, JR. They know what's <laughs> coming next. They sure do, and there it is. The FU. What an impact. I think this crowd's giving these superstars a piece of their minds, King. Are you sure they can afford it, JR? I don't know if his opponent has what it takes to kick right. out. You can look at any professional sport you want, JR. You won't find more incredible athletes than the WWE superstars. You're not wrong, King. They can be every week until they are physically incapable of continuing. There's no oh. off season in the WWE. We're not talking about running a ball down the field or slapping a puck into a net. This is serious physical competition. It sure is. The toughest athletes in... Don't tell me he's about to do what I think he's about to do. And there it is. He's got the STFU locked in. The champ is showing no signs of backing down. I think he's got more heart than brains, JR. He certainly needs to choose his next move carefully. Absolutely. This animal might be more than the champ can handle by himself. But who, in their right mind, would cross him? I don't know. Maybe the champ's got to fight fire with fire. Amigo, I got the opportunity of a lifetime for you. Ha <laughs> Your opponent is, como se dice, the thorn in all of our sides. See? I'll give you the chance to work with Umaga to get rid of him. You got my word, amigo. If you accept this generous offer, Umaga will not harm you. For now.
Hey, it's Randy Orton. I heard you told Armando where he could stick his offer. I ain't gonna thank you, and this don't change nothing between us. But you want help putting that fat bastard out of commission? You just holler, okay? With less than two weeks to go until Backlash, Sparks will fly here tonight. This is good old JR Jim Ross here with Jerry Wall, and we're hearing rumors that the champion has been offered an alliance. And he'd better take it. Nobody could survive long against his two rivals. It does seem like the champ's luck is changing, but is it too good to be true? Don't be so cynical, JR. Besides, what choice does he have? The champion got on this superstar's bad side when he refused his offer of assistance. You say that like he's got a good side, JR. He'll stop at nothing to break the champ in half, and he's made no secret of that. I give the champ all the credit in the world for managing to survive two of the most dangerous superstars on Raw, for this long. Watch it, JR. Don't jinx him. Tonight's a long way from being over. job jr it's like a dream come true king except when i have to sit here and listen to you rule over the defense come on jr you know i'm helpless when it comes to puppies oh i know king and that's why i'm bringing a pitcher of ice water out here with me next time oh. i tell you king sometimes i get exhausted just watching these superstars compete I know what you mean, JR. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. You've got to have some excellent conditioning to be able to do what you do. Well, that's the name of the game, JR. You gotta keep moving. No dog. Look at the fans, JR. They know what's coming next. They sure do. And there it is. The FU. What an impact. He's going for the cover, JR. Well, you can't ever accuse the WWE fans of being shy about saying what's on their minds. You sure can, JR. And I don't think we'd have it any other way. Excellent counter. What ring presence? Talk about the future of WWE, and you're looking at it in John Cena. Oh, come on, JR. John Cena's a thug. You know it, I know it, and all of these people know it. It makes me sick that he's allowed to be a WWE superstar. I don't know how you can say that, King. Cena has dedicated himself to entertaining these fans, and quite frankly, I find him to have more character than many so-called respectable superstars. There's a difference between entertaining the fans and setting a bad example, JR. I don't have any uh, earthly idea uh, what you're talking about, King. I think Cena sets a great example for our fans and superstars alike. Man, would you look at the size and the speed of Umaga. I've never seen a superstar that big
Yeah, but if he was a cat, I'd say his nine lives are about up. We know the GM wants him to rest up next week for Judgment Day. Good. He should. But I doubt he will. You might be right. He didn't earn that championship by taking time off. He sure didn't. He's got to keep the pressure on all the way to Backlash. What do you think you're doing? I don't want to see alliances. I want to see a champion who is ruthless. So put one of those animals down. Backlash is this Sunday. This is Oklahoma's own Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. And tonight, the number one contender will be decided. And this is huge, JR. If anyone wants to make an impact before Backlash, tonight's the night. And with the champion not scheduled for a match, you have to wonder how he'll make his presence felt. I don't know, but he better do something. You don't hold on to the championship by sitting on your butt. tear each other apart, just like they've done to the champion. Well, speak of the devil. champ i hope you ain't too attached to that championship 
because it's mine come backlash. And you try and pull anything between now and then, I'm going to take away everything you care about, especially your championship belt. Get pass out one last time, champ. Or is it jump? Too bad you don't know till you're all busted up that I pull these strings on both of them. Me, Armando Alejandro Estrada. Big joke on you. But that's the way we crumbled your cookie. Ha <laughs> ha. This is it! Backlash is here! And the champ's gonna have his hands full with this animal! I have to believe he's up to the task! And I have to believe he'll be lucky to walk out of here tonight! It's the champion versus the monster! And it's all going to be settled here tonight! He has torn through all opposition like a wild animal to get to this point. A championship match in the main event of Backlash. What do you mean, like an animal? You're looking at survival of the fittest in action. I wouldn't be surprised if we got a new champion here tonight. If there's any fear in the heart of the champion, He's doing an amazing job of concealing it. But I hope the champ has enough sense to be worried, though. If he's not afraid of losing his championship tonight, he's underestimating the challenger. This match is going to continue until someone's completely debilitated. And considering the resiliency of these superstars, that's not going to be easy. That's for sure. No one in this match is going down without a fight. And I wouldn't expect any less from them, King. Like them or not, you've got to respect the tenacity of each and every WWE superstar. Ugh. That went nowhere. He's got his opponent in position. I think he's going for it. No! It can't be! Not the FU! <laughs> Stars are getting some feedback from the crowd, JR. Nothing wrong with that, King. That's what we'd like to hear. These superstars are beating the heck out of each other, and this crowd can't get enough of it. It's what they paid to see, King, and they're getting their money's worth tonight. They sure are, JR. There's no question these superstars are earning their paychecks. Look at the fans, JR! 
They know what's coming next. They sure do. And there it is. The MCU. What an impact. After some of the things we've seen in this... He did it! He retained the championship! I don't believe it! I never thought he'd pull it off! And here he goes, adding a little insult to injury! Or a little injury to injury! I think he's sending a message to every other potential contender out there! No doubt about it! And I think it's being received loud and clear. Wow, he's really rubbing it in. Good for him. You can't tell me his opponent would have done any different. Looks like you came out of your title defense in one piece. Congratulations. Savor that victory, because it only gets tougher from here on out.